All right, weekend's knocking on the door. Let's have a little fun now. Yeah. Comedian Rusty Nails joins us. I'm going to talk about some things that are making headlines. Catch up a little bit, Russ. Uh -huh. Good to see oh. you. My time already, yeah? yeah? You are up. You well, are here. Well, yeah, you know, it's San Diego, America's finest city. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times I come in here and it's, you know, I'm telling about where I'm going to be and stuff like that. Not important. Fiesta del Sol, by the way. You're Saturday, right. I'll be the MC That's for that right. whole thing. It's up there, Solana Beach. So, but it's not about me. It's about the headlines that affect us here. San Diego around the nation, so try not to make it about my life, but basically, yeah, just come to chew the fat, you know, some things are funny here in San Diego, scooters are funny, homeless, I can find humor. We always find, <laughs> you know, we're always talking about the stories of the day and yeah, you bring yeah, that but, humorous uh, angle to it. I, I think Do you the, ride scooters? Do you ride the scooters? I, had, I, I rode the Razor when I bought it for my kid, yeah. and I hit a rock and just fell over and almost broke my arm. So yeah. now these motorized ones are terrible, yeah. I think. Uh, you don't want to put a helmet on, and you got the headlights thing. <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, I think if you've ridden one, you really like them. They're a lot of fun to get from point A to point B, cheap. You don't want to get an Uber, all that stuff. No. But uh, but if you get the high speed wobbles because they go too fast, they go. They, they do go. What's quickly. that called? The governor. The governor. They put a governor yeah, they, they, where they, they can the speed wobbles. Yeah, you, you get, can you get speed wobbles. That's yeah. And then on the boardwalk, that should be for bicycles and joggers yeah. down down along the beach. No, I'm not a scooter guy. Now, anyway. we've, now we've got a new, a new ordinance here in town where uh, people who are homeless, you yeah. know, the cost of living here is way sky high. Huge. But now they can stay in their cars in any one of four designated lots. And okay. Yeah, they're starting to narrow it down. Because yeah. they used to just, I'd go to the beach too. We've got the smartest homeless people in the country. Mm -hmm. This is where, if you're going to be homeless, this is the spot to be. Because I, you know, I'm born in Chicago. And it gets cold there, in case you didn't notice. That's what I heard. So to be able to live in your car, I think the mayor's got a good idea. Kevin Faulkner, he put the Ford in affordable housing. Because now <laughs> you can just lay in the back of your, uh, your you know, F-150 and, and spend the night. It's a problem because, uh, you know, you're going potty outside and people don't want that in their neighborhood. If you're homeless, have somebody follow you with like a plastic bag or something. <laughs> like I have to do with my dog. That's gross. But uh, anyway, a homeless population up at San Diego State, I don't know if you know about this, around the campus is a problem. By the way, my daughter graduates a Sunday. And really? it's not about me, but here's, she made her own uh, mortar board. You see what that, that's, you sketch it out. Because every kid's got to have something on the mortar board. Don't oh. stop until you're proud. And then she'll do it up with flowers. And, and I think it's just such a, such a credit to me as a father to have somebody graduate from college. Nice. Yeah, I'm very proud yeah, of her. Right? She'll be a, she'll be a teacher someday. Good for you. Anyway, good for her. Yeah, that is. And, and again, the scooters are good to get around campus. So it kind of all works together. It all works in. Now, let me ask you this, because yeah. you travel all the time. I follow you on social media. Yeah, you're always yeah. on the go. Yeah. Are you uh, an Uber, Lyft kind of guy? Uh, when you have to get a ride, yes, and sometimes they've uh, they you know they don't maintain their vehicle so well. Yeah. Uh, you know, you get that the two stars because everyone's getting rated. They rate you, I rate them. Uh, they have a new. I guess if you pay more, you can you can make the drivers shut up. Yeah, it's the premium package. Is or that the it? Black package or something? They call yeah, it. I don't need to download that. You know how uh -huh. I get a, a driver to shut up? I go, uh, Dave, shut up. <laughs> I would take me to the airport. Don't figure that's that's the old school method. Yeah, and some guys get a little too political. You know, when you're in the cab, they say, "Oh, isn't that guy terrible? Is this guy oh, I'm a Cory Booker? You know, the hot pizza eater." Um, <laughs> but but I don't want to talk political on my way. So I I'm all for the Uber guys getting paid more. First of all, maintenance on the car. Yeah, come on. Yeah, and if you drive Uber and you live in your car. What, what a great world <laughs> what we a live tie in. Right? <laughs> oh, I gotta wake up. I gotta ride to La Mesa. Yeah. Two birds, one stone. Yeah, that's Okay, it. a lot of controversy with this whole situation in Alabama and Alyssa Milano. She's been tweeting about oh. all kinds of crazy well, she, stuff. She so. has a. She, uh, yeah, she's a pretty lady. Uh, she, wants, uh, she wants to ban sex or something like that or, yeah, or to hold out on. In, in order to... I think she called it a sex strike. A sex strike. Yeah. yeah. So is she not married? Because I think she is. I think she's, I think she's married with a child. Yeah. That's a common practice in marriages, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if it's anything new maybe to the single world, but <laughs> sex strikes are that way. And, and you don't want to cross the picket line. And if you do, don't forget, uh, you know, it's a, it's a wild world out yes, there. Yes, it is. But uh, yeah, she's trying to bring attention to the abortion issue and mm -hmm. cut down on... And that, that mm -hmm. will cut down on abortions, won't yes. it? If yeah, you don't well, have, yes. see how it starts. <laughs> it eliminates the, the root of the cause. Yeah, yeah. So wow. anyway, uh, Sandy, did I mention my daughter's graduating as a teacher from San Diego State this Sunday? Why no? Tell I'm us so about excited. it. Yeah. Well, it'll be <laughs> raining, I think, a little bit. That's what Francella said. So I want to be. Uh, we're going to be inside the arena. Mm -hmm. Uh, what tribe uh, named that arena? Uh, 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 is it Saquon? <laughs> Barona, it's Saquon. Yeah, anyway, we'll be up there. And then Fiesta del Sol on Saturday. Great weekend. San yeah. Diego, come on. You're loving it. All right. Rusty yeah. Nails. Jason Ostell. <laughs> Great seeing you, man. Oh, man.
All right, we'll be right back with more of the Friday edition of Good Morning San Diego. That looks like a fun event. Did I mention my daughter's graduating as a teacher from San Diego?